to my kitchen. Today I am doing a baking video for you all. And if you know anything about me, you know that I absolutely love baking. It is currently a very rainy day in Los Angeles. So I thought I would bake cookies. Today I'm making chocolate chip butterscotch pretzel cookies. I saw a recipe for these online and I was like, these look amazing. So I decided to make them for you guys. Let's begin. So I've tied my heart up and out of the way and my oven is currently preheating to 320 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'll have the exact measurements of everything listed in the description box below along with the recipe I'm following. But here's what we're using. Some vanilla bean paste, half a cup of butterscotch chips and half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, cup of brown sugar, some white sugar, We've got flour and baking soda in here, one whole egg and one egg yolk at room temperature, along with a stick and a half of butter at room temperature, and finally pretzel chunks. I'm gonna first start by creaming my butter and sugar together. So I've got a stick and a half of room temperature butter and my brown sugar and my white sugar. I'm gonna turn this onto a medium setting and cream them together. Now that that's creamed together, I'm going to add the egg, the egg yolk, and the vanilla while stirring on a low set. Once all that is fully incorporated, I'm going to start slowly adding in my flour and baking soda mixture. So I'm gonna put this on a low setting, and you don't wanna put it all in at once because it'll like skin, so just slowly but surely so it gets gradually and fully mixed. Now I'm gonna use a spatula and scrape down the edges just to make sure I get everything really well incorporated. So now that our dough is fully formed, I've got my butterscotch chips, my chocolate chips, as well as my pretzels, and we're going to add that all in here. And now we're just going to mix all of this up. Once I've folded all of that mixture together, I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and put this in the fridge. This needs to chill for at least 30 minutes, but you can honestly chill it even like a day before. Basically what that does is it gets everything a chance to solidify back together. So when you bake the cookies, they are still super fluffy and like tall and they don't spread out or anything like that. So I'm gonna pop some clean fill on this and pop it in the fridge. And pop, pop, pop. I will see you in 30 minutes. So I just removed the dough. Now it's all nice and chilled. And I've got a cookie sheet in front of me and I've just got a silicone baking mat. You could also use parchment paper. I'm just gonna take a spoon and scoop out even little balls. oven at 325 for eight minutes. I'm gonna check them. We'll see if they still need a little bit more time and I will show you guys when they're ready. So I just pulled those cookies out of the oven. They were in there for about 12 minutes and now we're just waiting for the second batch to be done. How freaking good do these look? And the cookies are done! They smell like a Bath and Body Works candle in the very best way possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this baking video. Let me know if you want me to do more cooking or baking related videos. Because this is what I do in my free time to de-stress. And it's one of my absolute favorite things to do. And I feel like it's something I really haven't shared that much with you guys. I love cooking like full on dinner parties and brunches as well as baked goods for gifts and things like that. Um, healthy and totally <laughs> indulgent unhealthy things too especially this time of year. So let me know in the comments down below if there's other things you'd like me to try. Uh, if you're interested in the kind of things that I like making or what I'm interested in making, go follow my Pinterest account because I post a ton of stuff there that I'm like, ooh, I wanna make this, ooh, I wanna make this. If you guys do this recipe, make sure to tag me in it on Instagram or Twitter. I'll have hashtags and my socials linked down below and I will see you guys next time. I love you oodles and oodles, goodbye.